show some houses this morning. Thought I'd take you along with me. Let's go. I'm going to show a house this morning and I'm passing by some places that bring back memories. I just passed by the farm that my uncle had when I was a small child. I remember going out there and uh, riding horses. I was so small I'd be, I would be riding uh, double with somebody else. Look at the old stables back there. They're getting dilapidated and all that. Just a lot of great memories from, from back in the days. Just reminiscent. Thinking about old friends, enjoying the the scenery, the hanging moss out here in the countryside. Look at those beautiful trees right there. Well, I'm actually in somebody's driveway. I didn't realize that. Look at that. Aren't those gorgeous? showing a house this morning and this is the most unusual front door that I've ever seen so I've got to share this with you it's a mermaid it's not a mermaid it's a lady with a peacock in front of her See the lady and there's the peacock This is the same fence from 40 something years ago. But I remember it being white. Look how long this thing stopped out here in the country for a little while and it just smells so good I'm riding with the window down just so I can take in the, the freshness Wow this road brings back some memories I just passed by the place where my friend Craig Dennis's grandfather lived when we were kids we were teenagers but not not quite old enough to drive 
And I remember we were on this road one day. Craig was probably 12 and I was 13 and his dad gave us the keys to his truck and told us to haul off the load of uh, limbs and things in the back of his truck, haul them off down the road to the local dump spot. Well, you know, it probably should have taken about 10 or 15 minutes and we were gone about an hour or so. <laughs> when we got back, I just knew we were in trouble and sure enough, Craig's dad was upset and he grounded him. And it was pretty bad. No more driving for the rest of the day. <laughs> Tough rules for a 12 year old. Yeah, they've got that, uh, that place where we dump, they've got that blocked off and I see a lot of cattle down there now. Let's see, let me get a look at them. Craig's living the dream now in France and doesn't get back here too often. We're, I'm in Pocahontas, Mississippi. Just gonna shoot this to let him see where his grandfather's house used to be, kind of a nice drawn over. Uh, everything's definitely changed. Right in here is the back of where Craig's grandfather's farm was. Boy, a lot of memories out there. It, it looks a lot different. It's growing over now with hard, hardwoods, but back then there was mostly pasture land. And there were a couple of ponds. There was a pond down here, kind of in this older, older growth area. That's where we fish. I remember fishing there and catching our dinner one night cook on the campfire. Had to keep the horses away from eating it. And out in the pasture, uh, we, <laughs> we were so-called rabbit hunting. I think Craig was sitting on the hood of my four-wheel drive truck and I was driving through the pasture and he was trying to shoot at rabbits. And we, we ran off into a soft place and sunk the sunk the truck to the uh, axles and the only thing within sight was an old dead tree but anyway we pulled the old winch cable out and, well there's a little bit of the pond back in there you can see um, anyway we we pulled the winch cable out to the tree once we got the rust off of the connections to the electrical connection for the winch we pulled the tree down didn't move the truck in so we had to hike over to the alcoholic treatment center down the road and, and borrow an old tractor. We borrowed the tractor and came back over there and pulled the truck out. So, great memories from, I guess, being about 15 years old. I guess you'd call this downtown Pocahontas. It's really changed a lot. Uh, one of the dollar stores it used to be a a restaurant that was shaped like a teepee. Truck in the way over here, but see if we can get a shot of uh, the accommodations for people coming into town. Yep, accommodations in this town for all dogs. Country dogs. And city dogs. All dogs welcome downtown Pocahontas, Mississippi. <laughs>